so under the estimation of cu plus 2 ions the primary standard substance taken is potassium dichromate uh, and its formula is k2 cr2 o7 to begin the experiment we need to weigh the empty weighing bottle just a second now place the empty weighing bottle so note down weight of the empty weighing bottle 3.90 grams w1 okay so to this uh, 3.9 we are supposed to add 1.47 grams of potassium dichromate which is called as the primary standard substance so first tell me uh, how much are you getting 3.9 plus 1.47 4.37 नाउ वी विल ऐड द सब्सटेंस इनटू द वेइंग बॉटल अंटिल द वेट कम्स अप टू 5.37 Yes, leave it. So W two five point three eight grams. Weight of the bottle plus substance five point three eight grams. So after weighing the substance, what are we supposed to do? Transfer into a volumetric flask, and it is a a two fifty ml volumetric flask. And how it is to be transferred? Through a through a funnel. So transfer. It. Will you do it? Yes. Okay. So don't forget to take the weight of the empty weighing bottle after transferring the substance. It is three point nine four grams W three. Okay. So now, what is to be done after transferring the substance? So now, carefully add water, washing the walls of the funnel. Okay. So now you can remove the funnel, place it aside. And now, first try to dissolve the substance. So now tell me one question: Is it colored solution or colorless solution? Colored solution. Colored solution. So which meniscus has to be checked? Upper meniscus. Upper meniscus. Okay. So you can check the mark and show the mark of this. It is. Can you see? Ah, yeah. So this is the mark. so we need to make up the volume and we have to check the upper meniscus as it is the colored solution okay so now add water slowly so the solution is made up to the mark close it with the lid now we will keep the standard solution aside and please try to complete the calculation done so what is the weight of the substance 
1.44 grams. So you can calculate the molarity also. Then yes, one show na. So you can calculate the molarity of K2CR2O7. Completed, ma? So how much did you get? 0 0.01957 molar. Capital M. Don't forget to write the units. Okay? So let's move on to the step 2. What is step 2? Standardization, Standardization of, hypo. of a hypo. So students, as we are moving on to uh, the second step and it is called as standardization of a hypo. We standardize hypo using which substance? Standard. Which solution? Potassium Standard potassium dichromate solution. That is the first step we have uh, prepared. Fine. So now how to do the second step? What is the procedure or what is the process of standardization of a hypo? So look here, for this we need, 20, uh, first we need to take a conical flask, into this we just drop the 25 ml of distilled water, okay. So we measure 25 ml of water with a measuring cylinder and drop this water into the conical flask. To that we are supposed to add 10 ml of potassium iodide. Next 4 ml of concentrated HCl. So to this now we have to add 10 ml of standard potassium dichromate solution. So for this see we prepared the solution in the volumetric flask. Okay. So we are not supposed to directly pipette out from the flask. So just to transfer some of the solution into a small beaker and from this we have to pipette out carefully. Ten ml of standard K two Cr two O seven solution here also upper meniscus has to be checked. Yes. Okay. Now this ten ml has to be transferred into the conical flask. We are not going to titrate immediately with hypo. So cover it with a watch glass. And we are supposed to place it in a dark place for 5 to 10 minutes. So after placing the uh, conical flask in dark for 10 minutes, we have taken out and washing the watch glass. And also the walls of the conical flask. After doing this, we need to titrate against hypo which is taken in the burette. We need to stop when the color of the solution changes to greenish yellow. Now stop titrating and adding the indicator that is starch. So 1 ml of starch. So once the uh, dark blue color is obtained after adding the indicator that is 1 ml of starch. We need to continue the titration with hypo until it turns colorless. That will be the end point for this experiment. See you can see the uh, solution has turned from dark blue to colorless. Okay. So let us note the title value taking out the burette from the burette stand. So you can see the title value. The lower meniscus touches 11.8.
okay so volume of hypo you can note down 11.8 so students moving to the third step that is estimation of uh, copper ions in the given unknown solution so taking 10 ml using a pipette drop the solution into the conical flask carefully now slowly add ammonium hydroxide using a dropper drop wise until we get a blue colored precipitate so you can see a blue color precipitate in the conical flask now to this we are supposed to add few drops of acetic acid slowly in order to dissolve the blue precipitate so after the precipitate is dissolved add few more drops extra adding two test tubes of distilled water into the conical flask next adding 10 ml of ki now cover the conical flask with a watch glass and again keeping it in dark for 5 to 10 minutes so after 10 minutes taking out the conical flask from the dark place washing the watch glass and also the sides of the conical flask as shown in the video okay now uh, again uh, taken hypo in the burette let's do the titration okay so we will stop the titration here and now uh, adding the indicator that is starch 1 ml see here the solution turns into dark blue color so you can see a dark blue color solution is obtained and now we will continue the titration until this color disappears and a dirty white color precipitate appears so i think we can stop here so you can see a dirty white color precipitate in the conical flask now stop the titration and let's check the titer value so to check the titer value we have to take the burette out from the burette stand 8.8 see here it's 8.8 the lower meniscus is touching 8.8 okay so let us add 8.8 the volume of hypo required in this step students let's now do the observations and calculations of this experiment step 1 weight of the empty weighing bottle w1 please note down the values uh, i am showing you here next weight of the bottle plus substance w2 weight of the bottle after transferring the substance w3 3.90 5.38 and 3.94 grams next comes weight of the substance transferred w2 minus w3 1.44 grams 
Using this, calculate the molarity of K2Cr2O7, substituting in the formula given here. W2 minus W3 by 294.18 into 1000 by 250. So, after calculation, we get the molarity as 0.01957 molar. Okay, next moving on to uh, step 2 here. See, uh, please, I think you have noted down the uh, table. Here, burette readings, the final value is 11.8. Okay, so we have done only one uh, titration. Hence, 11.8 uh, uh, is given here. Volume of hypo, 11.8. Next, taking the formula M1V1 by N1 is equal to M2V2 by N2. So, please uh, enter the given data over here, all the values carefully without any mistake. Number of moles of K2Cr2O7 and hypo, you can uh, note down from the reaction. So, M2 that is molarity of hypo is to be calculated. M2 is equal to M1V1 N2 by N1V2. Substituting, you will get the concentration 0.096 M. Next. Step 3. So, in the table... Volume of hypo used in this titration is 8.8 .8 ml. So, final reading, please note down 8.8. .8. Here, this also, we did only one titration. So, you can enter the final reading for the first titration. Next, the same formula, M1V1 by N1 is equal to M2V2 by N2. Estimation of unknown Cu plus 2 ions. So, Cu plus 2 ions versus hypo. Note down all the values. Here M1 is to be calculated. Molarity of copper ions, Cu plus 2 ions. So one more time showing you. Substituting all the values in the formula of M1. Note it down girls. Right, it is equal to 0 0.0844 M. So finally, the amount of Cu plus 2 ions can be calculated like this.